A ballistic missile follows a high arcing trajectory that takes it into space before it descends back to Earth. It is powered by rocket engines only during the initial boost phase, after which it coasts in a free fall path under gravity. These missiles are typically used for long-range strategic targets and can carry large payloads, including nuclear warheads. And today we will compare two of these missiles, India's Agni-P and China's DF-21. The Agni-P, or Agni Prime, is a new generation medium-range ballistic missile developed by India's Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO. It is part of the Agni series, which includes other missiles like Agni-1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. On the other hand, the DF-21, specifically the DF-21D variant, is a medium-range ballistic missile developed by China. It is part of the Dongfeng series and is often referred to as the carrier killer, due to its capability to target and destroy large naval vessels, such as aircraft carriers. Let's talk about the design of these missiles. The Agni-P missile measures 10.5 meters in length and has a diameter of 1.15 meters. It weighs approximately 11 tons. This missile's compact and lightweight design is due to the use of advanced composite materials and lighter electronics, making it more efficient and easier to transport and launch. On the other hand, the DF-21D missile is slightly larger and heavier. It measures 10.7 meters in length and has a diameter of 1.4 meters. It weighs around 14.7 tons. Despite being larger, the DF-21D's design is optimized for its role as an anti-ship ballistic missile. But of course, in terms of design efficiency and compactness, the Agni-P holds the edge. When we talk about range, the Agni-P missile has a range of 1,000 to 2,000 kilometers. This medium-range ballistic missile is designed to cover strategic areas within the region, providing India with the capability to strike targets deep within neighboring countries, such as parts of China and Pakistan. On the other hand, the DF-21D missile, often referred to as an aircraft carrier killer, has a range of approximately 1,450 to 1,550 kilometers. This range allows it to target naval vessels in the Asia-Pacific region, including the South China Sea and beyond. With its greater range, the DF-21D holds the advantage in this category. Let's speak about the warhead sections. The Agni-P missile has a warhead section designed to carry a single maneuverable re-entry vehicle. The Agni-P can carry a payload of up to 1.5 tons, which can include either nuclear or conventional warheads. The large payload capacity and advanced re-entry technology make the Agni-P versatile and capable of delivering significant destructive power with high precision. On the other hand, the DF-21D missile has a warhead section that can carry a payload of up to 600 kilograms. This payload can consist of one or more conventional or nuclear warheads. Unlike the Agni-P, the DF-21D does not feature MARV technology. The Agni-P wins in terms of warhead versatility and capacity. Talking about the potential damage radius, a typical nuclear warhead on the Agni-P might have a yield of up to 200 kilonauts. The damage radius for such a warhead could extend several kilometers, causing severe destruction within a radius of 3 to 5 kilometers from the blast center, and significant damage over a broader area of up to 10 kilometers. A nuclear warhead on the DF-21D, with an estimated yield of 250 to 500 kilonauts, would have a comparable or slightly larger damage radius than the Agni-P. The severe destruction would likely extend within a radius of 3 to 5 kilometers from the blast center, with significant damage over an area of up to 10 kilometers. Given the higher yield range, the DF-21D may have a slight edge in this category. Talking about propulsion systems, both the Agni-P and DF-21 missiles use a solid propellant propulsion system. This means they are powered by solid rocket fuel which is pre-loaded into the missile and does not require fueling before launch. The solid propellant also provides high thrust, enabling the missile to reach its target quickly, with both missiles utilizing similar propulsion technology. It's a tie in this aspect. When we talk about guidance systems, the Agni-P uses an advanced dual redundant navigation and guidance system with a ring laser gyroscope based inertial navigation system and a backup micro inertial navigation system, ensuring high accuracy and reliability. Its maneuverable re-entry vehicle MAR allows it to make adjustments during re-entry, increasing accuracy and making it difficult for missile defense systems to intercept. The DF-21D, on the other hand, 
uses a sophisticated guidance system combining inertial navigation and terminal guidance systems. It follows the correct path during initial and mid-course phases with INS, and uses radar and possibly other sensors in the terminal phase to home in on moving ships. While effective for its anti-ship role, the DF-21D lacks MARV technology, making the Agni P superior in guidance systems due to its advanced features. Talking about launch platforms, the Agni P missile is designed to be launched from a canister-based mobile launcher. This canister launch system enhances the missile's mobility, protection, and ease of deployment, allowing it to be transported and fired from various locations with minimal preparation time. The DF-21D missile is typically launched from a Road Mobile Transporter Erector Launcher. The Road Mobile TEL allows it to be deployed quickly and enhances its survivability by enabling it to be relocated frequently. Both systems are highly mobile, but the environmental protection of the canister gives Agni P a slight advantage. Let's speak about decoy and penetration aids. The Agni P missile is equipped with advanced countermeasures, including decoys and penetration aids to enhance its survivability against missile defense systems. The missile's maneuverable re-entry vehicle can perform evasive maneuvers during the terminal phase, making it more difficult for enemy defenses to track and intercept. Additionally, it is believed that the Agni P may use various decoy systems that deploy multiple false targets to confuse and overwhelm missile defense systems, increasing the likelihood that the actual warhead will reach its target. On the other hand, the DF-21D missile also incorporates several countermeasures designed to penetrate enemy defenses. While specific details about its decoy systems are not widely publicized, it is known that it utilizes advanced radar and sensor technologies to enhance its terminal guidance and evade interception. However, the Agni P's sophisticated decoys and penetration aids, including MARV, give it an advantage in this aspect. When we talk about costs, the Agni P missile is estimated to cost around $10 million to $15 million per unit for production and maintenance, including advanced guidance systems and canister launch systems. On the other hand, the DF-21D missile costs around $20 million per unit. This higher cost reflects its advanced radar, sensor technologies, and road mobile launch platforms. In terms of cost, Agni P is more cost effective. In summary, while both the Agni P and DF 21D are formidable missiles, the Agni P stands out due to its advanced technology, higher payload capacity, superior accuracy, and innovative features like the MARV and canister launch system. These characteristics make the Agni P a more sophisticated and effective missile in various strategic and tactical roles. Which missile do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons, see you in the next video.